Hi, this video will discuss the inverse elasticity pricing rule for a monopolist to maximize their profits. It will show you how a monopolist uses this rule to determine the optimal price. Let's do an example. So from a previous video, we drove this relationship between marginal revenue and demand and the price elasticity of demand. So I encourage you to watch that video to determine how we came up with this relationship between MR price and the price elasticity of demand, this epsilon term. So given you have this inverse elasticity pricing rule formula, then let's show you how it's used. For example, suppose between two airports, this is Pitt Greenville and Charlotte, there is a marginal cost of $100 for the firm. And the price elasticity of demand differs whether we're talking about a business traveler, maybe their price elasticity demand is negative 2, and a leisure traveler, maybe their price elasticity demand is negative 4. Find the profit maximizing price for both the business traveler and the leisure traveler on the route because the price won't be the same. And recall, to, to do this, you need to know the profit maximization rule for the monopolist. What is that? Let's simply set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So we've talked about this rule at great length throughout this module about monopolies maximizing profits where MR is equal to MC. What well, MR is equal to this P is equal to 1 plus 1 over epsilon from this inverse price elasticity rule. Marginal cost? Well, what are those? For the business traveler, it's $100. So what we're doing in this expression then, we're setting MR, this is the expression for MR, equal to MC. And MC is $100. So we're trying to find this profit maximizing price. But we also know for the business traveler that this price elasticity is negative 2. Right here, that one's negative 2. So basically, we have an expression, and the only thing we don't know is price. Let's do the, cal do the algebra. So we have price, which we don't know, is 1 plus 1 over a negative 2 for the business traveler is going to equal 100. And let's do our algebra here. 1 plus negative 2, that's simply 1 half times price is equal to 100. So to get price by itself, multiply this side by 2, multiply this side by 2. So we the 1 half and 2 cancel, and so we have price is equal to 100 times 2, or 200. That's the profit maximizing price for the business traveler. Now I encourage you on your time, calculate the number for the leisure traveler following the same approach. You should find a price that is actually smaller than 200 if you do your algebra correctly. This has shown you how you find and apply the inverse price elasticity rule knowing that you, that a monopolist maximizes profits where MR and MC are equal.